Hello and welcome back. I'm going to spend a few minutes with you now talking about how you can find groups and join them. Now it's probably worth saying at this particular point, if you have just opened up a Facebook account, maybe if you haven't been on Facebook before, that with all things that we're talking about on here, you take things a little slower. The reason for this is that new accounts tend to be a little bit more fragile. So we're taking out groups, for example, what we're going to talk about here. Maybe take out eight to, uh, or join eight to ten groups at one particular time and then maybe leave it 10 to 12 hours before joining more. If, however, you've been on Facebook for some time and you've regularly interacted on Facebook by liking posts, putting status updates, uh, making comments and things like that, this really doesn't apply so much to you. Now to start with, we recommend that you stay local when looking to advertise products to sell. Now there are exceptions, uh, maybe if you don't have many groups where you live you might have to look a little further afield, but certainly um, most people, depending on the area where you are, you can find maybe 30 to 60 groups local to you, and we'll speak about that a little more in further on in this video series. But, uh, but let's actually start at the beginning where you need to look and uh, you can see up here, this would normally have my name in it by the way or may have your name in it of course, uh, but I've just put in there the town of where I want to look at to join uh, some groups and this is an adjacent town uh, to us but we're just really doing this for example. Uh, so let's just click on there to search and you'll see that we have a lot of different options coming along the top, latest people, photos, etc. But the one that we want here, of course, is groups because we're going to be looking at advertising, as we've already said, in local groups. Now, this will give you all the groups in your local area. Uh, and sometimes it's worth also putting um, towns that might be a little further afield because sometimes you'll find that you'll get other ones that are fairly near that you may want to deal with, maybe uh, towns and villages just outside of the Maston area, and you've got to judge that. What I'd recommend is that you decide how far you're prepared to travel to to deliver products. But of course, some of these people will come to you, of course, to collect. Now, you'll see here at the top, we've already sent some requests here. Um, and these are ones I've just made this morning, uh, Maystone Face Bay, and you'll normally see a little description underneath that'll tell you about the group and what it's about. You see there's 14,000 people, nearly, already in that group. Here's another one with 7,000 nearly, Maystone Bargains. Another one under there with 13,000, so what's that? Around about 33, 34,000 people that potentially you can advertise your products to completely free of charge, uh, but you obviously want to make sure you don't abuse these particular groups. These are what we would call on-topic groups that are designed for selling products on Facebook. And you'll see all of these groups, there'll be many sales ones down here, but do be careful to keep it to on-topic groups. You'll see here one that's talking about house exchanges. Now, if you start posting products in there, you may get a little bit of abuse from people saying that this is not what this group is about, and you might find that somebody makes a complaint to you. So keep it on on uh, topic. But you'll see the vast majority of these, even here, prams, push chair, strollers, we do sell baby products as well. So, you know, there's options there for you. Maidstone Pets, we sell animal products. Sometimes it's worth joining the group and having a look in there to see if other people are advertising um, products to do with pets and that will give you a good idea so sometimes have a look around a group before actually posting out but there are some groups as we've already said that are just not going to be suitable for you uh, we've got May, uh, Maystone Harriers me members only group and this is to do with a rugby club I think that's local that's not one that you're probably going to get too much joy with if you start advertising baby products in I'm sure you could agree so like I said make sure you and all you need to do is when you're looking to join a group is simply uh, here's Maystone Facebook three and a half thousand members uh, and just click join it's as simple as that now it's worth mentioning at this point not everybody's going to accept you straight away so if you're after maybe 30 or 40 groups that you want to be posting in in a day or two's time maybe join 60 70 80 groups over a period of time um, because it'll take a while for them all 
to accept you sometimes most people normally within 24 to 48 hours but do bear in mind they're just normal people that are admin of these groups who've got normal lives and they're maybe not all on the computer at the same time so join more groups than you want if that makes sense and another place as well that you need to be careful of to not post to are, are, are sites like this that say free to a good home or another one is free bay where the people in these particular groups are more interested in swapping or just giving items away uh, and of course if you're posting items in there and saying well we're going to advertise this for £10, £15, £20 whatever it is you're probably not going to go down too well so like I said just make sure you keep on on topic groups but it shouldn't take you that long to be getting a few groups together uh, so you can start posting to them so we'll see you back here on the next video which will be talking about creating your, uh, your post and also posting it into those groups just click play on the next video